You've asked for it. The best skill moves to use inside the bots in FIFA 23. We've got four. And three of these were in the top five skill moves that you need to know end game in FIFA 23. First up, the back heel to ball roll. I mean, it's just one of the greatest skill moves for taking the ball to the side of the defender as he approaches you. You can exploit the space. It's either left or right to where the defender is and essentially it's very hard to tackle. Now to perform it, it's similar to the heel to heel, but you hold L1 as you flick forwards and then backwards to where the player is facing. So it's forwards back with the right stick and essentially the player will take it either left or right depending on where you point the left and left stick diagonally forwards. So you choose either diagonally forwards to the right or diagonally forwards to the left. L1 stop into Elastico. Now the reason I'm saying L1 stop into Elastico because the Elastico itself is a little bit slow. A lot of the time your attempt to try and take it to the left of the player as the Elastico faints the right to left. But it's just too slow this year without the stop. But when you're standing still, my goodness, is it hard to defend against and it's so, so quick. To perform it, you need to tap L1 and let go of the left stick to ensure the player stops on the spot and faces towards the defender. Then you want to enter in to the right of where he is facing with the right stick. So using the right stick, enter in to the right. Point to the right of where he's facing and then rotate around clockwise to the back of him. Okay, and he'll perform the elastico. He'll stop the ball instantaneously, hit bang right left into the space towards the left of where he is facing and it's so quick, so hard to defend against if the opponent doesn't know what skill move you're going to hit. This didn't make the top five skill moves that you need to know end game in FIFA 23, but it certainly has in previous years, and that's the Lacroquetta. Now, it's very effective inside the bots, either off the back of a stop, or whilst you're jockeying, or whilst you're dribbling in the bots. Now, to perform it, you hold in L1, and you point the right and lot stick. Either left or either right to where the player is facing, it's either three o'clock or it's nine o'clock. You hold that for a split second, and he'll perform the Lacroquetta. A skill move that's been in my locker for a long time and I used to use it back in the day in pro tournaments and it's still viable. FIFA 23 for taking it to the side because it's very hard to tackle, especially if you hit it and the opponent doesn't read it. And that's the best thing about it is not many people use it this year. So when you actually perform this skill move, it's going to be unpredictable. The reverse... Elastico. The best thing about this one is, comparing it to the Elastico, it's really good to use whilst you're dribbling or whilst you're standing still, whereas the Elastico is only while you're standing still. I find the reverse is good when you're actually dribbling around because it keeps it in quite close to the attacker as he's dribbling. So very good for that and also off the back of a stop. Let's say an L1 stop, fade shot stop. I find it's very quick off the back of that and it's hard to tackle. I even use this in pro tournaments. It's very effective. To perform it, it's obviously the opposite to the Elastico. You enter into the left of the player and then you rotate around to the back of where he's facing. Anti-clockwise, that is. And he'll perform the reverse. Very effective this year. I hope you enjoyed it. It's the top four and all the skill moves you should be using in the bots in FIBA 23. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm coaching, of course, one-on-one. -on -one. Click the link down below in the Patreon and you guys can sign up and work one-on-one -on -one with me. But as always, I hope you have a good day. I'm out. Sign up. Au revoir. Adios. Salam ciao. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. And lastly, if you do want any pre-gaming fuel or supplement, then head over to atpscience.com, which is the first link in the description, and use the code AussieFIFA at checkout to get yourself a discount. Not only is it the cheapest way to get supplements, but it helps me out a ton, guys. So... Thank you.